Hi, it's Tina Waku here today with another project for Shimmers, and today I'm going to show you how I created this grid art journal page using several mediums from Shimmers Paints. So to prepare my surface, I go ahead and apply some just normal white gesso to my background. I'm using an old credit card to apply it to my paper and not being real particular on smoothing out bumps. I like the texture that it gives when you have some of those bumps on the background. So now what I'm going to do is take a grid stencil that I have in my stash. Um, you can see me, it fits perfectly on, onto my paper. It's a 9 by 12 stencil. And I'm going to use the black licorice um, dazzlers to put on the background. And I really like using this black um, dazzlers. I like the contrast you get when you use some of the bright colors. You can use the sprays or the inklings or um, any of the other shimmers products with it. But it creates a great contrast to any project that you're working on. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the entire background to create my grid pattern. Now you can see what it's like when I lift it up, so it creates a really nice background. So what I thought I would do, um, instead of just painting each square, I'm going to add some more texture to the background. So I'm using super heavy gesso and some um, other stencils that I have just to create more interest to my art journal page and to create more texture on my background. And the super heavy gesso, um, it works really well for that. It just it, it creates a, a nice effect to the background. So you can see me just applying it to just different varying squares onto my art journal page with just various stencils that I have from my stash. And I'm alternating them here and there, again, just to kind of create more interest and flow to my art journal page. And I'm not being super particular if the gesso gets out of the lines a little bit, I'm wiping some of it away, but for the most part, I'm not being too particular. So I have almost all of the squares done that I want to. I didn't fill in all of them because some of them I want to have just plain paint on them. And then I go ahead and um, zap it with my heat gun just to make sure it's dry. So you can see some of the texture here that was created with the super heavy gesso um, onto my background. So now what I'm going to do is uh, start applying the color. So I'm using several shades of um, some of the sprays that we have at Shimmers. And I really um, am kind of into this whole yellow, purple, and black um, color palette right now. So I thought that'd be a, a good start to uh, my background. So I'm just using the spray as a paint, kind of like a watercolor paint. And you can see me just painting it onto random squares onto my background page. So this is a super easy way to create an art journal page because you're just using the stencil as a guide. So you can just color it in. You can use different stencils. And again, using the stencil as a guide. And you can use the either textures or dazzlers um, with this stencil to kind of create your outline. Um, it's a super way to incorporate um, using stencils into your projects. So I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring all of the squares in. I actually didn't color all of them in. I kept, um, at the end, I kept one um, white because that's where I'm going to put my art journaling words into it. So I used some of the yellow there, and I'm going to use some of this um, pink color. And you can see in the areas where I did apply the super heavy gesso, you can see that texture come through when I apply the, the spray right over it. So now I've got the yellow and the purple done. I thought it would be fun to add some green um, as a good coordinating color to the color palette that I'm using here. And you can really see that texture that's created there with the, um, the, the uh, stencil that I used, the heavy gesso with the letters there. And you can see down in the lower right with the stars as well. So I'm just finishing off with that. And then I go ahead and use some black as well. Just kind of grounds it in. I'm not using black as one of the main colors, but again, just kind of grounding the entire page together um, with the black. And I go ahead and leave some squares actually white. Like I said, the main one where my journal is going to go, my words are going to go. But I left some other ones, and I'm going to add some doodling into it. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm adding the sentiment that I want to my original page, and I just grid it off that open space with a ruler just so I knew where my my words were going to go and I'm using a pencil just to kind of outline it there's nothing wrong with using a pencil because you can erase once you write over it with your permanent um, pen or marker then you can erase over any of the pencil lines that were left over 
So you can see I have it all written down there. So now I'm going to go over it with one of my doodle pens um, that's a, a permanent pen. So I'm just going to go ahead and line right over the pencil marks with my pen and then my journaling will be done. So now my journaling is almost done and you can see when I was um, coloring it in I made some of the areas a little bit more bold and you can do that. Um, the pencil was just used as a guide um, for my um, words. And then like I said I left some of the squares open, the white squares, and I'm just doodling in some circles and it just created a, a different look to it and a, instead of using the heavy gesso as texture I'm just using the doodles as more interest and I'm doing it kind of in a triangle mode with the three different squares with the doodles. And that is my finished page. It's done just like that. It was super fast and super easy to put together, but it was really colorful and I really liked how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed my video today and thank you for watching.